Cool, so today's the first day the show floor opens, uh, and that means that I can no longer carry around this nice, big, luxurious bag that I've been carrying. I have to carry around this bag, which is much smaller. Uh, so let's go. I'm running late, of course, because obviously, because how can you not be running late? Ben. I'm so tired. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I don't know why. I was up till like 2.30. That sounds terrible. I fell asleep right away. I know. I got nothing. <laughs> I didn't make that. I didn't make this. I'm looking at what the internet <laughs> is done. Looking, looking, looking at it. It's okay. Dan Riker's Death Stranding. I thought that was the, yes, the big yes, new announcement is that you were working on it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're like, needs more baby ass. We all saw the thumbs up. Yes. Yes. Let's see some butt. Oh, by the way, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. That was the most disappointed <laughs> I've been by Nintendo uh, at E3. I and did and not give a Mario Party. I know. Yeah, Mario Party was exciting, great. but they showed it for two bad. seconds. And the rest was fucking smashed. But none of those games look bad. Right, like exactly. Not, the disappointment's not from like, oh, those games all look terrible. It's just like, right. And I like Smash Brothers. I, it is a great love letter to Nintendo, but I don't play that game for like five years, like in some competitive circuit or anything. So like for me, it's, I don't know what to look forward to on the Switch for the next like so Tilo year or whatever. Out, I forgot all about it, but there was that Yoshi game that they showed last year that was like playable and oh, just. Right. Disappeared. We'll see if that's at the oh, booth. Uh, yeah. We're about to head to the booth. Here. No, it's it's not. It's not? So Tilla just tweeted that it's not at the show. Oh, okay. At all. Oh, great. So it sounds like that they're choosing to focus on games out this year. Okay. And I wonder if that's just like another facet of like now that this is a public show, more like PAX, they're very focused on hey, stuff. You can buy this. You can pre order yeah, this. It's damn close to being out. Yeah. Look, guys, not every game can have a baby butt in it. I know. I know one that does. Baby butt has Super Mario the Party. Fight. Dan, where are we headed? E3. Are you excited to see the show floor? Yeah, it's always fun. That's one of my favorite things is when you first get there and just kind of do the loops and see what kind of gimmicky, yeah. you know, displays and stuff they have. I'm excited too. I feel like it feels like it's finally happening. I, we've been here for what feels like five months. Uh, yeah. But it feels like it's actually getting started now. Yeah, we actually get to go play some games and stuff. Yes. Like ben and I got to play some games last night. And that was pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, we're looking forward to more. We'll get to play Mario Party probably here. Mm -hmm. We'll get to play some Smash Brothers. Um, hopefully there's some more Switch stuff there that we can mess around with. Fingers like, crossed. I mean, I saw 10,000 different items in the Switch. Yeah. They showed me every single one. So now I hope I get to play there. every single one. Yeah, they're going to actually run through every one of those changes they made. Yeah. So. I mean, how could they not? It'll be exciting. Nintendo and I saw Reggie and he was much smaller than I thought he'd be. Did you do your Vinny Reggie impersonation? No. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Fuck him. Um, I wanted to. He was dressed very casually. Who's the biggest video game celebrity you've seen at a convention or otherwise? Uh, Cliffy B maybe. That's a good one. No, Classic. Phil Spencer's. I don't know. Oh it's yeah, big. well, if they come to our show, I feel like they don't count. Oh, well that's all I got. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> All I right. saw a rabbid one time at a convention. A rabbit? Oh, like a rabid? Like a Rayman. Yeah. Um, what do you, what would you say you do for Giant Bomb? I feel like some folks are, are familiar with question. you, but maybe yeah, aren't familiar yeah, with yeah. what you do. Uh, my title is Director of Revenue. Okay, and so you pay Program. me. I make sure that there is money to be dispersed. I'm He's very about, important. I'm talking about those those dollar dollar mm -hmm. bills, y'all. The cash. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you're gonna get up and then I made you talk about celebrities with me, yeah, so. Yeah, you should probably edit this segment out. Not, not great, not, I would say, I would rate it 
4 out of 10. Okay. Well, I'm going to make the vlog only about this then. Uh, All right. It's not, a big, it's not, a big one. not good money for this one, bad SEO. Yeah, it's bad SEO. <laughs> so, I just got back from Nintendo. Um, I'm currently vlogging not in the comfort of the company of my coworkers. I'm out in a public room where everyone can see me talking to a camera alone, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm I'm flaunting my shame for all to see. Um, I just got this weird waffle burger, which is hopefully delicious. I met a very nice person in line while doing so. Um, I met someone else. I met a number of nice people already, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go edit this yesterday's vlog so I can hopefully get that up for you before my Xbox adaptive controller appointment. I'm pretty excited for that one. I think it's gonna be pretty cool um, and fun to see. Anyway, I feel really stupid vlogging, so I'm gonna turn this off now. Bye. Uh, we're gonna go over to the uh, Microsoft Experience, I think. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, we're gonna Microsoft go see. Microsoft has like a separate uh, area where they've got a bunch of kiosks and stuff and meeting rooms. I was there earlier today checking out Ori, which is oh, cool. Super cool. Yeah, I didn't play the first one, but I always wanted to. But right now we're gonna go check out the uh, adaptive controller. I don't know how they're gonna demo that, but I'm super interested in it. Me too. I'm also curious if they'll have, because I know you can plug in a ton of like third party or like make it yourself yeah, adaptive kind of, controllers that kind of a lot of folks are already making. Hi. <laughs> so I'm curious if they'll have those already or if it'll just be really the bare bones thing. Right. If I can um, just like hook up a rock band drum kit. Yeah. That would be cool. I don't know, I'm very excited for it. I think it's a really awesome piece of tech. Yeah. Totally. And I'm excited to see it hands on. Whoa, skateboarders! Skateboarders! Vinny, what just happened with this couch? Uh, nothing. It showed up broken on delivery. Uh huh. And so I just tried to support it so it doesn't look as bad. That's it. Uh, there's a steel bolt, two steel bolts that I don't think will rip out. It's actually steel bolts and staples. It's an Ikea couch. I think it's more cosmetically broken than structurally broken. I sat on it. It doesn't feel unsturdy. But I also think it will break eventually, but I just don't want it to be... Uh, it's just an arm for me. It's like a distraction. Well, I mean, again, as soon as anyone notices anything slightly askew on the set, yeah. that's all they can think about. That's seriously all they can think about. I know. It's unfortunate because we have really good guests. I know. And a really shitty couch. <laughs> Hi, we're in the middle of our E3 show and we're doing a vlog. Um, <laughs> there's a show going on right now, I got to get away. Anyway, this is the only spot I can sit where I'm not blocking someone else. I look casual and fun because I feel casual and fun. Tell your story. Sure, it's a bad story now. After that, and I, I emailed Rory when I was not, I wasn't working in games or anything. Um, and. I thought that Giant Bomb had double charged me because I had two things that were the same cost on my credit card and I was like, oh, I just renewed my Giant Bomb. I was like, hey, can you refund my Giant Bomb? Uh, and then uh, he was like, no, we don't have you as, as having that happen. I was like, well, I see my credit card bill here. And then I realized that I had bought another thing at that exactly the same price that day. <laughs> so that's the Rory story, is that I had to send an apology a... email to Rory saying, hey man, it turns out that thing that you're working on, stop doing it. I have a story about, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on his name. Who's the guy who does the highlight reels? Uh, Chris Person. Chris Person. Yeah. Um, I used to send him a lot of those highlight clips before I became an internet celebrity and he picked absolutely none of them. And one day I'm afraid that he's going to figure out that all of those are me and be like, wow, she has bad taste in highlight real quick. I'm DMing Chris this yeah. footage. One time, one time he unsolicited reached out to me about a clip that I had just posted on my Twitter. Just to rub it in for you. <laughs> Look at this headline somebody wrote about me. <coughs> Man stands next to things to showcase life as a person. <laughs> So we finally finished our first night of the night shows and uh, they went pretty well, which is great. They're a lot of fun, but they're also a lot of work and I'm pretty much working nonstop. So you probably didn't get a lot of footage from that um, and you probably won't just because the nature of them makes it not really appropriate to vlog. Uh, I want people, people to be able to relax and be able to speak freely with themselves. I'm sorry, I'm having such a hard time talking. It is 1.15 in the morning. I am so tired. Uh, it feels like 4.15 in the morning because I'm honestly still jet lagged. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, I also tried to upload my dang vlog from yesterday around lunchtime, but I couldn't, I didn't have enough time to upload it at the show floor, so then I came back to the, this hotel and tried to upload it and then it was gonna take like 20 minutes. I needed to go back to set up streams, so I went over there, but I can't really upload anything over there without it interrupting the streams. Therefore, I'm gonna upload it now um, and then hopefully edit today's vlog, which is the next day's vlog, tomorrow morning, and then upload it around that time too. Um, either way, thank you so much for your patience. Um, and I don't remember if I was making a coherent thought before this and none of these thoughts are going to be coherent anymore because frankly I'm fucking a sleepy little baby and I'm going to go to bed. So have a good night and goodbye. I'm tired. I'm tired. So, Dan, you called me over. I'm working. Uh, Dan? Just show her what you're working on. Well, that's a baby butt. You're gonna go to prison for this. This is a video game. I'm covering my industry. Your industry is perverted. End of vlog.